Hi everyone, it's Debbie. Welcome to my channel or welcome back. If you're new here, I'm a reseller. I've been reselling since July 3rd of 2004 and I absolutely love it. And today I have a little bit different of a video. I'm going to have a garage sale haul, a haul from a PGA golf tournament, and a what sold video. I'm going to summarize where I last left off on my last what sold, and I'm going to go over five and a half weeks, just highlighted sales of anything that I thought is significant or I've shared in a haul. And this kind of gives a more broad picture to show you how much it has sold over five and a half weeks. And I have probably spent 10 to 15 hours a week on reselling, probably a lot closer to the 10 hours than the 15. During the week of May 8th through June 16th, 2022, that is five and a half weeks, I sold 174 items for a gross amount of $3,633.63. And if you want the complete breakdown per platform, gross amount, money back, cost of goods, profit, I will have all of that at the very end. But we're going to jump in and I'm going to tell you a little bit about a couple of hauls that I had and what I have sold and how much profit I have made. We will start by one weekend, we went to the PGA Golf Tournament in Tulsa. entire weekend there. We went to the pro shop one day to get souvenirs and we each got a hat and a pullover and then my husband picked up these golf balls that say 2022 PGA Southern Hills. We went back and we were watching the golf tournament and I started thinking about a conversation I had had with Linda West about multiple quantities and I just look everywhere I go for things that are on clearance and a lot of times I don't just get the multiple quantities from liquidation. It's from just shopping in everyday life. And so I have to thank Linda for this because you had me thinking. And I saw the ball that my husband got and I thought, hmm, I wonder if these would sell on eBay. So I looked them up and they did. These cost $4 each and I saw that I could probably sell them for about eight to $10, which does not sound like a lot, but I thought if I get 20 of them, and it's just one easy listing and I make $4 on each one, that's $80 right there. And then I started thinking about other things that were in the gift shop. The internet connection was horrible, so I was not able to look things up very well, but I did see that flags had sold, but when I went back and tried to research a little more, I couldn't do too much. So I went to the PGA shop and I purchased 20 of these golf balls. These were $4 each. Then I saw flags, they were $18 each. And I thought, hmm, well, that's a little bit more. I will go ahead and buy just four of those and surely I can at least get my money back on those. I saw a couple of them had sold for like $50, $60. So I thought that's worth a try. So I go to the gift shop, I get it. My friend ended up in the gift shop also and she texted me and so I was like, oh hey, yeah, I'll wait for you right outside of the gift shop and then we'll walk back together. So while I was waiting for her to get out, I just set the golf ball down on a ledge and I took photos of it. I listed it, put quantity 20. Then I took photos of the flag. She came out and we ended up going and sitting back down. I'm showing you the photos from my camera roll. When I got out of the pro shop, I just took the flag and I put it up on that ledge. You can see the pro shop in the background and I took photos of it. Then I put the ball down and took pictures of all different angles. Then I put it up on a fence post to get another view, took a few more pictures of the flag laying flat on the ground and these flags were yellow and blue. And the only comps I found were for white flags. So I was a little hesitant about that also. Then I ran everything through photo room so that I could get a nice white background. And this only took a matter of a few minutes and I had listings up. I only had to do two listings for 24 items. So in the amount of time that it took my friend to check out of the gift shop, 
I was finished with all of the listings. Then we went back and my husband and our friend Andrew were holding the ball up <laughs> so that they could get another view. And I ended up using one of those photos for the cover photo. So I did change that out, but it was so quick, so easy. Right away, I received an offer for a flag of like $30 and I thought, oh, that's not quite enough. So I countered back with, I think $45 and they accepted. Well, then I didn't do anything else on it. The rest of the flags sold for $59.99 each plus shipping. So they sold out right away. I was like, oh, I should have purchased more than that. The golf balls all sold out within a week. I listed the golf balls on eBay, Poshmark, Macari, Facebook Marketplace. They sold on eBay and Facebook Marketplace. The flags, I only had them listed on eBay. I didn't even have a chance to cross list them. They all sold out before I even had a chance to cross list them. So I will tell you a little bit about my numbers. On the listing, I put 2022 PGA Championship Southern Hills Logo Golf Ball Titleist True Fill, and I put the word collector. I sold 11 of them on eBay for a gross amount of $134 and 50 cents, which averages $12 and 23 cents each. My earnings were $80 and 74 cents. I paid a total for those 11 of $47 and 60 cents, and my profit was $33 and 14 cents. Seven of them sold on Facebook Marketplace for a gross amount of $97.75. My earnings were $63.02. I paid $30.24 for those seven, and my profit was $32.78. They sold for more on Facebook Marketplace, and my profit was almost the same for seven on Facebook Marketplace as it was for 11 on eBay. So had I known that, I would have cross-listed them to Facebook a little bit earlier, but I had primarily had them on eBay, and then I got back home and cross-listed them to Facebook Marketplace. And then my husband had a couple friends that he wanted to give balls to. So we ended up keeping a couple of them. So I only actually sold 18 of them. So I paid $77.84 and my profit was $65.92 for not much work at all. It took me just a few minutes to list it. And when you have multiple quantities, it makes it really easy to ship. I just put a little bit of bubble wrap around them. I put them in an eBay padded mailer and it was that easy. They were super fast to ship. I would say not even a minute to ship each of them. So that was very easy money. But what was really good money was the flags. And the next time I go to a tournament like that, I am going to stock up on flags because even after all the flags sold out, when I had the golf balls, I had so many people, like probably 10 people contact me and say, hey, do you have any flags? I told them I did but they sold out within 24 hours. So I had no idea there would be such a demand for flags. So next time going into it, I know that I will buy flags. My title on eBay for the flags was new 2022 PGA Championship Golf Pin Flag Southern Hills Yellow. They sold for a combined amount, all four of them, $264.67. So an average of $66.16, which is lower because I counter offered a lower amount. Had I known, I would have let them all sell for $59.99 plus shipping. That's okay, this was a new type of sourcing for me, so I learned a lesson. My earnings were $181.96. I paid a combined amount of $77.76. They were actually $19.44 each because I did not bother using my reseller certificate because that I thought it would be really rude if I held up the line by having them put in my reseller certificate information. So I didn't bother with that. So I actually paid $19.44 each and my profit was $104.20, which was a profit on average of $26.05 for each flag. It would have taken me four to five minutes to list it when I got home. The way that I shook the flags was I just took two pieces of flat cardboard, put it in between the cardboard. Okay, these are the flags. And as you can see, I am using just these flat pieces of cardboard and I'm putting them in the center with a little bit of bubble wrap and then on the package I just tape it up and then I put 
a little bit of bubble wrap at the very top and put a note to them to open it on that side. In total, I spent $155.60 and I ended up a week later with $328.72 and I spent maybe one to one and a half hours from everything from listing it and shipping it. So that is why I love multiple quantities. You do the work. I only had to take a picture of one ball to be able to sell 18 of them. I only had to take a picture of one flag to be able to sell four of them. And once you've shipped one, you kind of know, okay, this is how I'm going to ship it. It makes it easier. Multiple quantities, I believe, is the key. So for me, over the years, I have found that how I make the most money per hour is listing multiple quantity items and I find them in everyday life. Anywhere that I go, I will check the clearance area and usually there are items so whenever I shop at the mall I always check the clearance racks when I go to Walmart when I go to Lowe's any kind of hardware store sporting goods store normally there is a clearance section where I can find items that are marked down in multiple quantities you can end up making a lot of money per hour when you have multiple quantity items so that was a fun haul and now I know when I go to golf tournaments, I'm going to go to the pro shop. And even if it's not on clearance, if it's a collector's item, I can probably make money. And another sourcing opportunity that I had in this time was I went to a garage sale. I had talked about when I went to Cushing, Oklahoma, my son had a wrestling tournament. Well, there was a pretty big break in between wrestling style. So we had about an hour and a half. So we went to the post office and I showed in a video how I mailed something without a shipping label, just using the QR code on my phone. And then we were driving back and I saw a garage sale. So we stopped at the garage sale and I found some unique items. So I'll show you a little bit of footage from that garage sale. A little bigger one than I used. So just out hitting the garage sales today. Actually, we're at a wrestling tournament. Yeah. These are cool. I like these. One of them's got a front wheel missing. Yeah. Are these pretty old? Yeah, those are pretty old, I think. Hmm. All right. I'd be, uh, well, I priced them to, as a pair for $8. Okay. But probably five for the good one and three for the other one. Okay. No, I've never seen that brand before. did you get oh, um, the real we arrived back at the wrestling tournament, but there was a little bit of time before it resumed. So we sat on the tailgate of my husband's pickup truck and I looked up the fishing lures as we looked out at the pretty pond. And I thought, well, isn't that an appropriate setting for what I'm looking at? The, the guy had several fishing reels and I was looking at them and I was like, I don't really know anything about fishing reels. And we talked a little bit and I told him I was a reseller and he's like, oh, you're a reseller. Well, I looked at this one and this one I think will sell for a lot of money. So I took out my phone and I was looking up comps and I think the best thing to do is just be honest and tell people that you are a reseller without being afraid that people would be upset that I wanted to resell the items and make a profit but normally they're like oh wow I think that's so cool oh I don't want to do all the work but I saw this goes really well on eBay I was looking them up and I was like oh yeah I've got to be able to make enough money to make it worth my time to list it and he told me the reels were five dollars each so I ended up taking one of them home and it was the one that he told me he thought would resell well and there was all this fishing line on it and he was like oh you don't want to sell it with all this fishing line I'll take it all off for you and it took him a few minutes but he did that for me which was so nice. That one ended up selling. It was the ABU, so Abu maybe, Garcia Cardinal Fishing Reel. It sold for $61.70. It went international. Shipping was high on that, so my earnings ended up being $23.36. I paid $5 and my profit was $18.36. I will pop up how many days it took to sell because I did not write that down. 
Then another thing that I got, it was so funny. He was showing me different dishes and I would look them up. It was a really nice china print, but it was so oversaturated. And so I was like, oh, you know, they're really pretty that it would just be too much work. And I don't think I would actually make any money. And then he had these Coca-Cola plates and I had actually sold them before. And you know, they sold for like eight or $9. And he was like, do you want these plates? And I was like, oh, well, thank you. But I don't think it would really be worth my time to have to package them and everything. I sold them before and it would probably only be eight or nine dollars. And he was just so nice and he kept on saying, you want these plates? How about 50 cents? How about a quarter? How about I just give them to you? And when I, when we were leaving, I was walking away and he was like, come on, don't you want the plates? I'll just give them to you for free. And so I was like, okay, I'll take them. And I went back and I still gave him a dollar. I was like, I have to pay you something for them. So I took them were actually the first thing that sold from that haul. They were the Gibson 1996 Coca-Cola set of two dinner plates, red, black, checkered. They sold for $30.08. My earnings were $13.41. I paid just $1 for them and my profit was $12.41. So that made me really happy that they sold so quickly. I had already sold them before, so I knew kind of about how much they would sell for. It was very easy. I just wrapped them in bubble wrap, double boxed them, sent them on, they arrived safely, and I got great feedback. The person was happy with them. So I'm glad I ended up picking those up. Then there was a tackle box full of fishing lures and he told me they were vintage and really old and he said some of them were wooden and I knew nothing about fishing lures, but I have watched YouTube videos where people have said some of them can be worth something. And so he had wanted like $30 for them and there were around 25 of them. And I was like, oh, I just don't know. I don't have that knowledge base for fishing lures, but I thought these could be worth something. I thought if I paid around a dollar or a little less than a dollar for each of them, I think it would be worth it. So I asked him, would you take $20 for all of them? And he said, sure. So we gathered them up and some of them I put in a lot. So I ended up each listing that I have, I valued at $1 to end up being the $20. Quite a few of them have sold. 13 of the listings have sold and I still have seven left. And what I did when I listed them, first of all, I put them out on the counter and I got a little tub of soapy water and a toothbrush because some of them were dirty. They had been sitting in that tackle box for a long time and they had some dirt on them. So I just took a toothbrush and I scrubbed them really good. And then I put them in groups so that I would not lose track of which ones I pictured and keep kept them in order took pictures of them, and then right when I listed them, I put them in little plastic baggies and I labeled each of them. They were in container 192, and then I put F1, F2, F3, F4, and so on, so that when I went to get them, I would be certain since some of them looked alike that I was sending the right item. And then when I go to ship them, I usually I'll just put a little bit of bubble wrap or some cardboard around them, stick them in a bubble mailer, and they're really easy to ship when I already have them prepackaged. Some of them I have groups and I have a few of them in there. So that just makes it easy for me when it comes time to ship and I don't mix up items. I will share a few of them that sold. I started out putting them out to auction because I thought if these are valuable, I want to know. Well, only one of them sold at auction and the rest of them have sold on buy it now. So the first one is vintage Head and Chugger Spook Fishing Lure Black, White, Red. It sold for $18.25. My earnings were $10.36. I paid just $1 and my profit was $9.36. I also sold a vintage Whopper Stopper Topper Fishing Lure Spotted, and a lot of these have the names on them, so it makes it really easy. It sold for $12.74. My earnings were $7.27. I paid $1, and my profit was $6.27. Another one was a vintage wooden fishing lure. I also put wood, red, beige. I didn't have the exact name of this one, but I think just vintage wood lures attract people. It sold for $21. My earnings were $7.26, a little bit low because that one went international. I paid just $1 and my profit was $6.26. 
Another one that sold was the Hedden Go Deeper River Runt Fishing Lure Silver White Red. It sold for $17.28. My earnings were $10.55. I paid just $1 and my profit was $9.55. Let's take a moment to look at some of the highest selling fishing lures on eBay in the last 90 days. They can be worth a lot of money. So it's great to look at them and familiarize yourself a little bit. And maybe someone will come across one of these at a garage sale. Mine all sold around the 14 to $22 mark, which is still great when I purchased them for just about a dollar each. So I should end up profiting when they're all sold about 100 to 120 dollars on them so i think that was a great pickup and it was fun to list them it was kind of fun it was great to learn something new i have a few left and so these will trickle out and you know they'll probably each only make six or seven dollars but i think that's great and it's great to learn something new okay these i was not sure on and i decided i would just kind of take a gamble on them I asked him if he knew anything about them, and he said, these are really old. They have just been hanging up in a shop. They just had them hanging from the ceiling. I think it was maybe an automotive shop, some kind of workshop, and he said, they're just really old. I don't know anything. It has a made in the USA stamp. It's heavy. I looked up similar items, and I found some solds that sell for really high that looks similar, but I couldn't find exact information on it. So what I did was I took the best pictures I could. I even took video and added video, and then I put it out to auction. Well, it had really no attention at all. I spent $5 on one of them, and then on one, on the one that has the missing wheel, he just charged me $3. So I have $8 into these, and what I did was on auction, there is an option to promote the listing, and it costs $1.99 to get extra views. So I thought, this is the perfect opportunity to see if that works. So I paid the $1.99 to promote one of them. It actually ended up with less views than the one that I did didn't promote, so I don't think I'm going to do that anymore. I do promote on the Buy It Nows because I have found that when I have gone to search items that are not promoted, I could not find my item when I went on somebody else's account. It just never showed up. So I always promote my Buy It Now items by at least 1%, sometimes higher depending on the item. But on auctions, I don't think that I'm going to promote them again since the listings were almost identical and the one that I didn't pay the extra $1.99 on actually had more views. So that was a little experiment for me. So neither one of these obviously have sold yet. And at this point, they have not received a lot of attention. So maybe if I learn more about them and can find out a little bit more on the age and the history, that will give them a better opportunity to sell. Otherwise, I will just leave them listed and maybe someone will come along and think that they are cool old tractors and want them for decorating. If and when they do sell, I will let you know how much they sell for, but I think they're really cool. Now I'm going to go through, I'm going to quickly insert a few more items that sold that I think are worth sharing. And then I will come back and I will give you a summary for each platform. This ends on June 16th. Then I went on vacation for about a week and a half. So the next what sold video will resume as normal, a weekly what sold video, but I just wanted to get caught up so I wasn't constantly behind. On eBay, I sold 85 items in this time period for $1,996.69. One item that I wanted to share with you was the Anthony Richards robe. Some of the keywords that I used in my title and description were snap front, duster, pockets, house dress, nightgown, and it was a size large. It sold for $26.89. My earnings were $14.89. I paid just $4.69 at my regular Goodwill. My profit was $10.20, and it took six months and 11 days to sell. This one was part of the series where I showed my entire listing process from start to finish, and I purchased several robes 
about five or six, and they've all sold now. This is another item that I had in a haul. It was the vintage Bancroft wooden tennis racket. It sold for $26.14. My earnings were $11.20. I paid just $1.40 at my regular Goodwill. My profit was $9.80. It took three months and five days to sell. On Poshmark, I sold 72 items for a gross amount of $1,316. The first item that I wanna share, I got on my San Antonio Benz haul. These are the Nine West Leather Heeled Booties. I put buckles on the title. They were size seven. They sold for $34. My earnings were $24.52. I was severely undercharged at that Goodwill bins, so I ended up just dividing the cost of goods out, so I valued these at just $1. I did not get them listed right when I got home. It took me a couple weeks to actually get them listed. I listed them on May 24th and they took 23 days to sell after I got them listed and my profit was $23.52. I had mentioned earlier that all of the robes slash nightgowns had sold now that I had in my series of my listing process, and that's because one sold on eBay and one sold on Poshmark during this period. This one was the Adana Blue Velour Housecoat Dress Robe Gown. I put pockets, zip, embroidered. It was a size medium, 12, 14. It sold for $23. My earnings were $18.40. I paid $4.69 at my regular Goodwill, and my profit was $13.71. It took five and a half months to sell. So these last two robes sold for the lowest amount, and they took the longest. The others sold a lot faster for a lot more money. So so for these to be the last ones and I still was able to profit $10 and $13, I am really happy with that and I love sourcing these type of items. Next is this beautiful pair of booties that I would have definitely kept if they were my size. They are the Ann Taylor Black Peep Toe Booties, calf hair, leather, four inch stiletto heels, size eight. They sold for $34. My earnings were $24.52. I paid just $2.50 at the Oklahoma City Goodwill Bins or Outlet Center, and my profit was $22.02. .02. They took five months and 28 days to sell. I showed this Fabletics open front Hannah draped vest in white size extra extra large hooded in a recent haul of the Oklahoma City bins and it went to a viewer. Lisa, thank you so much for buying from me. I didn't even know that it was a viewer and then I got a sweet message from Lisa after she had received the item and it absolutely made my day. So thank you so very much, Lisa. I appreciate you buying buying from me and supporting my channel. This item sold to Lisa for $22. My earnings were $15.88. I paid just a dollar two at the Goodwill bins in Oklahoma City, and my profit was $14.86. It took nine days to sell, and I am so happy that it went to Lisa. Thank you again so very much. Okay, next, does anybody remember these Ugg shoes from a Thread Up Rescue Box? These are the Ugg Collection Linda Snake Flats in pink and white, size 11. They also said made in Italy. They sold for $39. My earnings were $28.52. I paid just $5.62 in my sixth thread up shoe box. My profit was $22.90. They took six months and two days to sell. On Macari, I sold 10 items for a gross amount of $233.19. My best sell was this pair of No Bull shoes. This is definitely a Bolo brand. The title on these shoes was No Bull Wild Knit 
runner sneakers shoes. They were a women's size eight or men's size six and a half. I also put black and multi-color. They sold for a gross amount of $50.99. My earnings were $37.15. I paid just $2.50 at the Goodwill bins. They took 16 days to sell and my profit was $34.65. They were even flawed. I put on the listing that they were very nice and clean. They had excellent tread, but the back of the left shoe had a centerpiece and it had pulled up. So I put on the listing that I hot glued it back down, but the edges were still a bit frayed and it still sold for $50.99. I went to end my listing on eBay and Poshmark and I had a message on Poshmark asking if I would take $60 and $4.99 shipping, which I had to tell her, I'm sorry, it already sold on Macari, but that just shows what a great demand there is for this brand, even with flaws. So be on the lookout for Noble. I thought I would take a moment to scroll through a few sold listings of no bull sneakers that have sold really well. Just look at the prices on these and most of them are used. A few of them are new with tags, but a lot of used ones sell for really great money. And I just find it helps for me to see the actual photos and get a visual representation so that I will be aware when I come across these when thrifting. And the last item for today, which also came from my San Antonio bins haul. This was the Sam Edelman Dawson Sandals, size 9.5. I put keywords gladiator, zip, natural leather, and tan. They sold for a gross amount of $22.99, which was $15 plus $7.99 FedEx ground economy shipping. My earnings were $12.76. I paid just $1 at the San Antonio bins, and my profit was $11.76. They took just 14 days to sell. So my numbers for five and a half weeks from May 8th through June 16th, 2022, I sold 174 items for a gross amount of $3,633.63. Money back in the bank after any fees or postage was $2,310.17. My cost of goods was $598.98. My profit was $1,711.19. If I break down the platforms on eBay, I sold 85 of the items for $1,996.69. After fees and postage, I received back $1,146.16. My cost of goods was $339.26, and my profit was $806.90. On Poshmark, I sold 72 items for a gross amount of $1,316. After fees, I received back $950.16. My cost of goods was $202.35, and my profit was $747.81. On Macari, I sold 10 items for $233.19. After fees and postage, I received back $150.83. My cost of goods was $27.13, and my profit was $123.70. On Facebook Marketplace, I sold seven items, which was all golf balls, and I went over that before, but the gross amount was $97.75. My payout, which is after fees and postage, is $63. My payout, which is the amount after postage and fees, was $63.02. My cost of goods was $30.24, and my profit was $32.78. Next, what sold will be one week back up to date. That is everything that I have for you today. Thank you so much if you're still here. And if you wouldn't mind giving me a thumbs up, I would appreciate it so much. And if you're not subscribed, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below. And if you hit the notification bell, it will let you know when I release new videos. Thank you so much for watching and everybody have a great day. Bye.